Hey, GM everyone. Uh, it's our weekly show. It's Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 12 o'clock UTC. This is Let's Play Little Nouns, Prop 116. We've got an episode today where we are going to build. Um, this episode's all about building. Prop for today is the screen after the splash screen. And we are going to get started right after this. Index, GM, man, how are you? GM, doing pretty well. Um, yeah, kind of excited to maybe iterate on our idea, do a little more of a build session than kind of a nouns meta stream. We are, yeah, me too, man. We're getting back to our roots tonight. Um, we got a fun show. We're going to, yeah, we're going to be building almost the whole time. But before we get into that, uh, just a reminder, this is uh, this is an adventure, a true live stream adventure. This is not legal advice, not financial advice. And this stream is sponsored by Little Nouns DAO. Uh, prop 116 index. That was a fun, uh, that was a fun prop, wasn't it? Yeah, that was my first on-chain proposal, either DAO. I mean, I've been a part of another one, but I had nothing to do with them. And yeah, it was quite the experience. I feel like if you're gonna participate in nouns or nounish DAOs, you you got to go on chain at some point for the full experience. Yeah. Um, and if you uh, want to read more about this experience, our prop is on chain um, forever on Ethereum. You can read all about it. LittleNouns.wtf slash vote slash one sixteen. We we haven't come up with our prop yet, but we are building a prop uh, live on air. Uh, and you're going to see us do that um, primarily today. Um, yeah, I wanted to, uh, we'll get Mike up on stage, uh, Gia Mike. Um, quick intro here, just to kind of set the steam. This is kind of one of my, one of my um, pet peeves here about NAS, or just something I, I like to show off. I'm going to switch over to Etherscan. We're here, you know, June 7th, and I'm looking at the um, treasury contract for NAS DAO as of about 10 minutes ago and there was 14,959 staked ETH um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to refresh and check the balance now and uh, looks like there's still 14,959 is that right well anyway we're supposed to get our rebasing for our stake ETH position. Maybe that takes a bit. Oh no, here it is. Here we go. Sometimes um, you have to, yeah, you have to click into the token itself and then it'll kind of refresh on the main main view. 14,961. So uh, just in the last couple of minutes here, um, we we earned, uh, nouns earned, uh, what is that? A little short of two ETH. Staked ETH, ST ETH, because um, that's when it uh, the daily rebasing happens on Lido. Uh, Mike, GM man. Yo yo, GM guys, how are you? We're doing great. Um, we're just kind of getting kicked off. Um, yeah, we're gonna kind of. Um, we were chatting on Discord earlier and. Yeah, we're really focused on just sort of building out today. We're going to try and build out some Figma design uh, for nouns.game for uh, the screen after the splash screen. Awesome. Sounds great. Can't wait to see what you guys are coming up with. Um, I got some ideas for you guys for sure. Do it. Let's do it. So um, I'm in Figma. Let me uh, get back to Figma and then... Um, yeah, I mean, um, we're working on nouns.game. 
Um, what's the best uh, Figma file to be in? Is it like the alt front end or where should we be index? Uh, I usually spend a lot of time in the alt front end page on Figma. It's pretty messy, but they all end up like that at some point anyway. And so this is kind of like the, this isn't even really the OG. This is kind of like Boop's variation of the OG, but they're all kind of here. Um, and um, I've been kind of going off of either one of these three, but this is sort of the gist here. Yeah, so I've I've got you on, um, we're tracking you on stream here, watching you play around in Figma. So yeah, you want to talk about kind of how, what you're thinking or how do you want to get us started? index uh so i don't even really remember how long ago but um i guess we'll go to my original which was maybe one of these i kind of made this splash screen um and that was kind of it to be honest we, we kind of got stuck at the splash screen for a while boot came in um worked on it a little bit made like a very quick framer version of it um very static though and we never really quite continued or built out the next step. The splash screen is kind of amazing and nice to like watch and listen to. I added some audio to it. Um, but we're perfect. still kind of, <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, it's live. I don't know if the music will play on that version of it, but um, Only one what's next after screen. the splash screen? Depends what browser you're using. I maybe can load it into our little brand um, brand thing. Let's see. So yeah, I'm here at nouns.game. Um, yeah, it's kind of the bouncing logo. I noticed you added this mint button top right here. Love that index. Thank you for that. Yeah, so I, I was like playing around with Webflow, adding stuff. And then I realized like the more I just work on this, the more it's kind of like not that it's not worth it, but like this is just a temporary placeholder. And then so I felt compelled to move over to Framer, which might be a little bit more of a long-term solution or a midterm solution. And so now I'm currently working in Framer, trying to rebuild it. And then as I was rebuilding and trying to just think of what, what comes after the splash screen, people land on, they kind of get a nice little vibe or feel. And then what's next? Like what, what are we actually having them do on our site or learn or glean from our site? And so I guess that's kind of why we're here now. But yep. um, I'll play, I can play the music through stream, StreamYard real quick. Let's see. Yeah, give us the whole deal. It feels almost like a microwave pulsing. You know, like a DJ microwave. I can't confirm what that might feel like, but if that's what you get from it. <laughs> GM Al watching us on YouTube every week. Shout out Al. Shout out Little Nouns. Okay, so um, I like this background music. Can we let's let's try and put this in the background? Is that too too much? I've let it play for like an hour before and it was fine, but I'm kind of like that anyway. Like as I'm building the site, it just is playing nonstop. So um, yeah, so screen after the splash screen. So this is the splash screen, right? I love this. It's a vibe. It's like. You, you log on to your computer for the day, and this is like the, instead of going to Google, you like come here, right? Like, I feel like I want to be welcomed. I want to just maybe sit on this screen for a minute with like my, my noun flashing up and down next to it. But yeah, like, I feel like as soon as I log in, like, what are you guys going to show me? Yeah, so when you say log in, Mike, do you mean like a generic button here that says start, or do you mean like you connect your wallet? I think 
I think you could do either, right? Like maybe there's some people that want to learn nouns, but like don't have a wallet yet. So maybe they just want to like kind of check out what's going on. So maybe you can just hit start and enter in. But if you have a noun and you connect your wallet, maybe there's like certain things you can do that like normies can't do, like with little locks or they're like grayed out, like little areas of the the map that are like you know blacked out or or something because you you haven't you don't have a token. Totally. So let's uh, let's hop back into Figma here. And okay, so what, Mike? What do you think the button should be called? Play. Oh, you've already got this. You got a play button here. Index. Nice. This That's this was bad. Boop. This was from Boop. Um, when he came in. Yeah, that's dope. Either play or start, you know, like I, I always envision like a press start, you know, like on an old school video game console, but play works as well. Or how about let's play? The song is kind of like got me. The song is so good. Um, so... My, my thing originally was regardless if you do wallet or not, the button says either press start or like play. And, but now I'm not sure if that also launches like a wallet login or not. Um, I guess to start, it probably shouldn't bother, but I think there's like, people are trying to push away from the connect wallet kind of thing. And so I feel like it's kind of forward thinking to just skip the whole connect wallet phrasing even if you do still end up connecting your wallet. Yeah, hundred percent. You could even have just like an enter field for someone to like type their name in up top or something and it could like customize the whole experience for them just with like a simple variable, you know? Yeah, so I, think, um, I think any words are fine here. Like, uh, let's just agree on one. I think press start's fine. I think let's play is fine. Um, I mean, it's, it's going to be the only feature of the site. So I feel like it's kind of going to be obvious to like hit it no matter what it says, but yeah. Um, yeah, press start. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Boom. Do we need the arrow? I don't know if we need the arrow, but maybe the arrow is like over here in the future. I, I like your uh, text maybe under the arrow. Like you click the arrow and that text, like what the fuck is an infinite game? Like pop down or something. It would be kind of cool. And just keep this screen like super simple with just the... Uh, Nouns and infinite mm o c r p g and press start. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of also that's a good you like talk through this. I know the big thing is on the infinite game, but like it just be like the m m o c r p g. Yeah, it's a mouthful. Or just nouns the game. I don't really know. I kind of like that. With what? I mean, I get what you guys are doing here. It just depends, like, who your audience is, right? Like, are we playing to the people that are going to know what an MMORPG is? Our or... audience is is nouns proposal voters. Like, 700 nouns. Those That's our audience, right, Index? For now, yeah. Um, once I think, let's say we put up a prop, once the prop passes, I think that that shifts a little bit. But for now, then yeah, technically our audience is trying to um, get these voters to be excited and want to fund this idea. Yeah, but voters are going to be excited about the end state, not something exactly for them or, or yes, for them, you know. But I feel like you have an opportunity here, like Game Up on Nouns, for anybody like house of noun uh, house of nouns is very specific for like someone already in the nouns community 
But I'm wondering if like there's a nouns front end that's gamified where it is kind of like this new game that other people kind of want to enter into because you've gamified it. You know, like they're entering into the space because there's a new game on the scene called nouns the game. Um, so you know, you guys. Here's what I'd say. Some point have to link out to nouns 101 is one of my points. Just saying. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Later. And, and I'd say for tonight, I'm fine with anything. I think the important thing is to see if we can just get to the, the screen beyond the splash screen. Because that, I think, is going to be cool. And I want to get to that point of the show. So I'm fine with any of these things. Um, however you feel, Index. I'd say let's just pick one and roll. Uh, for now, I'll just leave it the game. But... Um, I like even... You could even just... Like remove it. I, I don't even know if that's too bare though. But no, nah, the game. No, is I like that. It'd just be like, just press start. I don't know. Yep. Maybe a little. Is up, there but... a way uh, to get that to flash? I feel like if if press start flashes like one second on, one second off, I feel like that would be dope. In yeah, Figma, like right, right now, not not like. I mean, you can, but it's it's a little bit of work, and it's you know you have to go into like the prototype kind of thing. But it, it can flash on yeah. the screen, like on on frame well, really quickly. Yeah, sorry. Let's let's. I sorry. I don't want us to get bogged down. I kind of want to get to this next screen. Um, and we. I mean, I think chances are we'll change this, so I don't think we should get too tied to it. But I'm cool with totally whatever you want. I'm totally fine with. Okay, let's just move forward. I'm just gonna write. Um, you want out the pulse and also the press start button. Yeah. yeah You're yeah. really into the, the pulsing today. Well, you know how old arcade games, that's how it used to be, is like you go on screen and it would go off and it would kind of draw your attention to it, you know? That's kind of why I had like the little bobbing up and down thing on, on um yeah i think you gotta pick either the bobbing or the pulsing i don't know if the bob and pulse is a good look but maybe <laughs> <laughs> no, i'll remove the, the the bob but that was all that was on the screen you know you gotta, I gotta something sweet sweet okay so yeah this is now we're getting to the meat of the show here the screen after the splash screen so this is the splash screen. People are going to press start and then new screen. Um, I'm just kind of saving this over here in case we edit. Yeah. So yeah, we were talking just right before the show index. Do we want this to be like a generic one or like a personalized one? Um, and I think you were thinking let's do sort of a generic kind of game board or something that would kind of apply to everyone is that right yeah that's kind of my inkling um personalized is just uh, just like unrealistic to build out i think um, yeah for sure so what's um yeah what do you feel like should be on it if there was just one item on the screen i'll ask this of you too mike like, what would the one thing be? That's a good question. This is also something I'm wondering, like, not that we built the DAO, we run the DAO, but like, when you think about it critically, how much is, I mean, obviously we spend a lot of time ourselves, but how many actionable items are there really available to do in nouns that we could even fill our site out with? That's not just like hanging out in a Discord all day. Is there that much? Well, I mean, on-chain props are sort of like the bread and butter, right? Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Well, you shared the ugliest screenshot <laughs> in this Discord. In the, uh, sorry, uh, Mike, what are, you, <laughs> what are you thinking? And also ask the chat if anyone's watching on YouTube. Um, yeah, what do you think? What's kind of the most important kind of thing to show? Right now, uh, uh, like now that I have a vote, um, yeah, on-chain props at Nasdaq is the 
is like the focus of my time right now. I'm like constantly checking the status of the the three active props and just to see who's voting and what's going on. Mm -hmm. So like, all right. The way I think of it is there's like this flow chart, right? And I made that flow chart one time and like you flow in and there's like two types of participants. There's like, all right, three types really. It's like a builder, do-gooder, philanthropist, how I worded it. And then there's like a governance participant. And then there's somebody who does vault. And like in governance, there's like multiple places to check at all times. So like having something simply tell me if there's something active that I have not participated in yet in one of these areas is like an amazing signal to have. Like, are there on-chain props or are there prop house props that I have not voted on yet? Or what are the active ones? You know, even that simply, like if you don't want to like get into like token gating right now, like tell me what are, what is active to vote on in prop house and on-chain? Like number one, like number two, there's like building routes, right? Like what is active for me to build through? What? Like, obviously, on-chain is always an available route, but you've got to battle a big boss for that one, right? But prop house, maybe there's, like, a smaller boss, right? And, like, are there prop house side quests available for me this week? If I log in, I'd like to see that, right? A simple place to know what I need to vote on and what I can propose through right now. And maybe some weeks there's nothing to propose through um, besides on-chain, like, besides battling a big boss. But maybe at some point you're you're signaling people to like hop into the 2.5 ETH prop house round, the one ETH prop house round, etc. Um, so like that's the that's the flow. It's like reminders, I think, of the most important things to do that people fall off of because there's too many places to log in to to look into all of that, you know. Um, so I think if you could simplify it for people, like a centralized place, you get vibes. You get it gamified. It makes it a little bit more fun. And you're reminding people of like what to do, how to act and what to play today. Maybe some days there is no game besides proposing. Maybe some days, okay, so, no you know? Mm -hmm. So Mike, how would you visually represent what you just said there? I what's active? don't know. I don't know. I would maybe like, uh, like experiment with a couple routes, like, first thing I'm thinking is like your Mario board, right? Like an on-chain prop is like that castle and there's like that guard there because that's like the entire DAO voting on you. But like maybe prop house is just like blocked by a rock or something because it's a little bit easier to get over, uh, you know, like, or maybe that's a bad view entirely. Maybe it just needs to be broken down into two simple, you know, sections called like governance and building and things pop up in those sections like an RSS feed, like when things are activated for you um or available i'm not sure i think like that's going to take a little bit of playing around with but i, I think that's the two sections that i would want to see like w what is there for me to do like what and then if i do them i'm hoping to gain some sort of point in this side game the, the game of nouns like as we've gamified nouns like I go in and I vote and like I actually see my character gain a little bit of life or gain a couple points um, in this kind of just our own game, you know? Um, and that's why people want to join because they want to become a part of the rankings in the nouns game. If they're doing it anyway, why not do it here? You know, um, if you're, if you were gamifying it and we're, we're, we're making it like an extra layer of like points and nounishness, you know, like why wouldn't somebody want to join and, and, and play pit start? They could do it on House of Nouns, but they're not getting points there. Or listening to the vibes of Index Card's uh, ill bit tune music. The uh, song's still going. That's good. <laughs> Fire. Honestly, I could listen to it all day. I got to get more of this. But, um, yeah, while you were, while you were going on, I, I realized... Um, 
I don't know if this makes sense, but um, like the kind of like world event in, in nouns is, is currently like noundry season. Um, and I don't know if like our website offers any value to this, but just advertising like the current world event in nouns is kind of like an interesting thing to me. Like Fortnite always had like these big world events where people would log in and like all see like the same stuff and then it would like un unleash a new meta in the game for a few months. Yes. yes. Yeah. The the uh the Travis I'm trying to think. event. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I walked in for it. I jumped in. I watched. <laughs> like the marshmallow concert when it was like first around. I'm trying to yeah, think of other ones. Also, that was a huge event actually in Fortnite. And yeah, yeah that as well. Becoming like a centralized stage for when big things happen. Like I really liked your um and also for pushing updates, right? Like those update uh tidbits you could go to like maybe there's a drop down up top like when you log in and it says like five new updates since you've last logged in or something and it like drops down and you see like the patch update that's taken place or whatever it is and like you have these custom cards for that i think that'd be dope shout out on yellow uh two weeks in a row on youtube gm um, like three weeks maybe yeah, yeah. Um, I like this idea of doing this Noundry World event. Could we do just like a whole page just about that? Like what what else would visual what else would visually be on the world event? And and Mike, sort of the reason is because we're we're thinking we want to ship this today or ship at least the design. So I feel like we want to keep it sort of simple. And I think something that just advertises the Noundry World event is sort of like perfect. Yeah, totally. I mean, I think the main screen when you log in could be really simple, right? Like like big updates, which is patch updates, big event updates, and then like routes, like what to vote on and how to build. Just like if you have like three RSS feeds basically on the site of like sections, someone could log in it could be like their console to see like what to do in the game at all times. Yep. Yeah, I kind of like these like patch alert thing is kind of nice. You click in and like maybe we have like a updates page. That's pretty easy to build too. Like that doesn't re require like I could have that page out now. I won't say now, but like in three days we could have some form of that page out. So. Like that stuff is easy. Yeah. The Nandri page, I don't really know what would go on it. I'm just thinking world events are kind of interesting. Although to some extent, everyone knows that's going on. Um, but it's you know, you would have like this pulsing. pulsing. Maybe this would pulse and you click in. Yeah, dope. Is House Announce CC0? Like, can you fork sections of it? Open source. Um, I think the long-term plan is. I don't think it is right now. There. I believe Wilson's voter thing might be open source on his GitHub, but I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure it's easy, like for a dev similar, of similar stature, who knows, like you know how to pull <laughs> Web three stuff. I I don't know anything about that or, or even where to begin. Um, web stuff that's one thing, but pulling from uh, the chain is a whole nother. Um. Yeah, I feel like I should know, but I I don't know what happened to me. I've lost every ability. Yeah, I'm just inspiration and idea guy now. Sorry, I can't help you implement any of these big ideas I have, guys. So uh, good that's luck. okay. Like this patch page, can we? It doesn't need any sort of. Um, it's also kind of ties into like my settings page, that idea. Gamifying the settings of the DAO so people can understand instead of going into the contract on Etherscan and seeing like what the hell does settle this mean or whatever, you know? 
Love that. Yeah. And I love how they've simplified the transaction details uh, recently or, or over the last couple months. Um, you know, like I'm wondering what goes into something like that on uh, translating the transaction details and like kind of outlining that. I know Etherscan has started to do that recently as well, but maybe even um, wording it differently, <laughs> like making it more gamified uh, would be fun. Um, did you ever see that thing where you could change like all the text on your computer to pirate speak back in the day through Google or something? Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, like I wonder if there's a way for us to like make it more video game ish uh like all that kind of stuff transaction details i mean the gamifying thing in and of itself isn't that straightforward always either like it i don't know i still come back can you really gamify this thing that much or is there some of it is really like that boring and you know i don't know but also maybe just throwing the music out in the background while you do it is like enough. I think that yeah, yeah. is the vibe for sure. Like you have a governance, I don't know, like when you go into governance, it starts playing a different song. And that's that, that enough, I don't know, but some sometimes it might be. I mean, it's, it's the other point of this is it's sort of performance art. Like if you look at this literally, it's like, we, do we really need to add value to the governance experience? But by making it and, and kind of showing the game in this way, it's it's almost more of an art piece. Now I know Mike's going to jump all over me. That's kind of prosaic and all that, but but that's no, really what I believe. You're right? No, you're completely right. Slapping music on it adds to a, it's a vibe layer, like you the art as well. You're a hundred percent right. But I think there is a very big opportunity, and it's low hanging fruit to just create a meta score. Like if you vote through this console you get a plus one, you know, like it's really simple. And like you create a leaderboard where you literally gamify nouns by just vote by doing things through your console. Like, so it like takes all of the, like, first of all, the other front ends are going to hate you because everyone's going to want to come here and be a part of your leaderboard and never use their front ends again, because you get something extra here. You get points um, in the, fictional game of nouns you know which is what we're all here for at the end of the day so like uh, out of anything i'm just going to come here and interact more than anybody so i'm at the top of your leaderboard so you better have one and i think if you go through and just literally yeah exactly player of the month my good Player number one. Surprise, nothing. Ooh, delegation. To some people, that's not even a prize. That's like. I know, hard work, prize. That's, that's, punish, that's a punishment. <laughs> I thought it was a prize until you gave it to me for three months. But the, the, um, <laughs> The, the one thing I too that like kind of ties into my other idea about asking for jello from from the DAO is that we can have things to do on this site if we control ownership of that that now yep like that gives us content and things to do on the site if we can use this as like a portal to like control that now and as like a group. But then again, I don't know if you want to get into like, well, first off, we got to get the noun, but I can put my noun up for the time being just to experiment. But, um, you know, like you go onto our site and we group vote on something or I don't know. Um, there's really not much more to do than vote, honestly. No, that's an incredible concept, man. Like it's, I, I literally think it's like the place you log in, it's the place you check for things to do. You check for updates, you you get points for doing things based on like your participation rate on chain and voting and, and all this stuff. And there's only like four or five variables that like you gain points over. And then after like, you know, a month or two or something, the person with the most points, uh, yeah, maybe they gain delegation. 
Yeah, there's something there's something there with that. Panda. Oh yeah, I was just I was just gonna say. Um, I mean, we we could incorporate that. Like, I I think we should try and uh, ship sort of a design for just a start page or a settings page today, if possible. And I I think we shouldn't overthink it. Like, I think these are all good ideas. I think uh, we just gotta kind of come up with something. Totally step by step. I, I like your your focus. Definitely work on this like updates page for now, but um, consider these other things. And you know, they're just additional pages and a little bit more dev work. All right. So maybe I guess settings is our next page, and then we work like backwards. I like that. Like before, there's a game. There's settings. I did one. I don't know if you're you're following me on StreamYard. This was like I don't even know weeks ago. I was trying to do like a menu bar that was really simple that stayed out of the way for the content. Then you click like settings. But this is as far as I got. I mean, if we start with just one setting. What do you think about just like how many nouns it takes to propose? And we just show it's like it's two. Yep. Uh, how would you visualize that? If you got anything. Two of those grayed out nouns. Like the playground nouns. Yeah, or like five grayed out in a row and two lit up as like red. And it says like number of nouns needed to put a prop on chain. And like two of them are lit up, you know, with like a couple grayed out or whatever. Very video game-ish, like your hearts are depleted. Yep. Playground now? Or like the loading now? I was thinking the, the, the one that Nounlius used. Um, yeah, the, that's like the, the loading noun. Um, I don't know if we have that asset anywhere. I'm up for whatever. Uh, used to actually, have. it looks like Nounlius has deleted his account. Interesting. On Twitter. Yeah. RIP. Huh. I don't have that asset. I don't know where you find that asset. It's not in because it's not actually a noun. Maybe someone should propose that as a noun head. Although if you or get maybe that one, you... it's like a you get <laughs> rugged almost. What if what if for today we just use index cards and we have like a grayscale index card? All right. Um, let me go to my little lounger here. Or just novels. All right, I'll back to the screen real quick. And shout out uh, Aniello again. Really appreciate this. Nice words in chat. Um, it's fun and entertaining watching you guys thinking everything through. Yeah, that's that's exactly what we do here on this show. Um, and that was our value prop for Little Downs. So we said, hey, we're going to just do it all on stream. We're going to show you how it works. Um, really proud of that. I'm really proud of what we're doing here. Index and Mike, thank you both. Close. It's fun. All right, I got my little nouns in here. What do I do next? There's a reason I didn't actually build this page out. It's uh, um, well, what if the last tough. three are grayed out? Yeah, exactly. And so Yeah, perfect. I mean, this is like not perfect. This is like as bare bones as it gets, but. 
Oh, that's that's all we need. Honestly, it looks pretty good. You know, it was, I think it was Boop who liked the outline. The black outline. You can't really see the outline because I use bl I use the same exact color outline as the actual background. So just change the. Um... I don't know, let's go. Well, I'll find a better color. No, that's crazy. White is clean. I like the white. It's maybe, I'm not really a bright guy, but let's find, I don't know. Gray. Gray's ugly. Anyway, color is not that important, but. The settings screen should maybe be where you can connect your wallet if you want to. So maybe. Okay, that, there we go. Because then you can unlock like the voting or the proposals. Like, you know, like, how do you know if you have two nouns or not? Like, right, you connect and then like, maybe that's locked or something for a player. Or I'm not really sure how it would display that. Maybe like the lock icon. Uh, next to places or, or something like governance and then like a little lock icon next to it if you're not connected and then like you hover over and it's like connect wallet to unlock yep um hey just a quick interlude here we've got a great question we love questions join us live on youtube twitch twitter aniello asks Will little nouns be able to play this game? Uh, it's not a stupid question. Index, what do you think? Of course, already playing it. Um, how, I mean, do you need to own a noun to play this game? You do not. Um, I guess, no, you don't need to own a noun to play the game. You don't need to own a little noun. They unlock other like aspects of the game, I guess you could say. If we want to stick to the analogy, but um, nothing really is required other than like your computer and internet connection. Maybe an Ethereum wallet eventually, if you want to like get deeper involved. But um... exactly. But the thing is, if you don't own a noun or a little noun, then you can't vote on proposals to gain more points. But you can propose props through like Prop House, which would gain you points. So like there's ways to gain points and ways to play the game. And maybe there's other participation metrics and variables that we could work out for, for non-token holders. Um, like they need to come in and like play like a mini game that we have like within this or something like that, uh, which would be a really cool thing to, to think about as well. Like a mini game that you guys only have on your front end that you know non-holders could gain points for and and raise up on the the leaderboard but currently people would you know with nouns and little nouns would have more of a chance to like gain points if we were going down like that like point based on like a variable of doing something in the nanoverse you know this is getting heavy Uh, anyone can submit. I'm here at prop.house. Uh, this is uh, one of the free-to-play game modes for nouns. Um, and in fact, the motto here is that anyone can submit. Mike, isn't that right? Yep, exactly. And maybe this is like a console that when you go in there, it almost looks like this, like a prop house cartridge is plugged into like the nouns game console. You guys need to design a console with little cartridges for the different uh, things. On-chain, prop house. Oof. Yep. That's kind of like, that's partially how I see it, but um, I don't know how. I, that's like um, that's like a week's of work for me. 
just <laughs> sitting here staring at the screen. Um, but I like what you've done here, Index. Um, can you take us through kind of how what you came up with? Um, I mean, this is like again so rough and bare. I, th I think it needs a little more juice on it, but um, I don't know, like trying to actually have some descriptor or explainer there. Um, so I at least try to write like a general idea of what, cause I figured the settings, you know, you got like governance settings, you got option settings. Um, I don't know what other settings you kind of have, but I don't know. This is very rough. I'd say this, the is cadence. Like, this is tough I'd working live on stream. The emissions cadence. I mean, how many nouns per day and for how long? 1.1. Forever. Forever. Maybe that's a, a separate screen. Like you duplicate this white section and then we have, yeah, auction cadence. Maybe these things expose through like a drop down or something. You click on like governance, it drops. Oh, down. it would be like, um, hmm. Like, let's see. I don't know, like tabs. Yep. Maybe not like that. Yeah, grayed out. Or just a different color. No, uh, grayed out. And then you click auction and then you're here. I mean, Boop would like keel over and die if you saw this, but. Um... Sorry, Boop. They got the other, the other, other rat on the show tonight. Not ratlabs.com. <laughs> so the auction could almost be like this many nouns were created today one right or 1.1 1. 1, nice every day forever it, guys <laughs> like okay I know that it's technically 1.1, 1 .1, but that, that's real, real meta. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of. Um, one noun every day forever. Then, no, I don't know what that would make. Um, Imagine if it was 1.1 nouns every day forever. Like, yeah, I mean, it kind of it is until... Yeah, you know. Until the reward is shut off or something like that, but. Yeah, you're right. Um, I don't know. This this page is like, is rough. Um, it needs some work. No, yeah. no. Keep roughing it out. You could always wrap it up and then we could see like a final version next week or something. But uh, it's good to. What did I just do? Okay. It'll probably not look anything like this by next week, but it's good that you're- I kind of hope, hope not, but maybe you never know. Should that tab maybe say to propose instead of governance? Or do you like it as governance? Um. Maybe it would be like proposals. Or it could be under governance and you just have like multiple layers there, right? Like proposals, submitting, uh, or, you know, both. Yeah, I mean, may maybe eventually, but, but for today, I think we want to just super simple. Sorry, Mike. I just, um, I want to get this thing out. I mean, it's, it's obviously not going to be perfect, but yeah, I, did, I didn't mean to open up a can of worms there is what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, this is not going anywhere anyway. By the end of the well, stream. It's, it's on our stream. Come on, I mean, we're putting it out there. Okay, in that sense, yes, but... 
There's a lot before it ever goes is like any on any page, I think. It might like obviously I'm trying to get to um and this isn't perfect either, but I don't even know where it is. Um Man, we have so many things. Um Oh, meta visualization, like something like this. Uh, I don't know where it ended up. Like my patch notes screen, which is not really that great either. But um, the problem with this is like we're, I'm designing, I guess, if you want to call this designing, without actually knowing the information. It's kind of like a backwards, backwards way um, to do it. Like you would obviously gather the information, do like a rough visualization, then you would actually try and build out and design it. Yeah. So really, this should just be like a dump of all like the possible settings that we would display here. But okay, well, I mean, I'm fine with that too. So what are they? I guess. I mean, there's the threshold. We gotta have that somewhere. Dynamic, Dynamic quorum. quorum. I, I do. I do note that on nouns.wtf, it's now threshold, which I think is better. It's been threshold for a bit. Um, it's been there for a bit. I forget when they changed it, but it's been there for a while. And this could just be two numbers, right? It could be a range, lowest possible threshold, highest possible threshold. Hey, um, Index, uh, remind me, um, I want to just call back to last episode while you're doing this. You were going to mint the Nounders, an Index card noun, a couple days ago. How, how did that end up going? Uh, it didn't really work out, unfortunately. Um, I alerted the TNS crew because they have dominance over the settlement. And so um, I tried to at least let them know what I was looking to do. Maybe they would help. 
but really I wanted to be the one to settle it. And so I had the window open. I think they were looking to and were aware. And eventually Toadie um, just settled anyway on a Toad or Frog, I should say. So it didn't work out. That's predictable. I mean, come on. Classic Toadie. Yeah, it was taking a while, so I get it. Um, may try it again on 740 because it is kind of nounish to miss by one. You know, like with uh, noun 420, it came the next noun. And while this isn't really the next noun, so the, like, the next noun is noun, but I don't know, that's going to be Saturday night, I think, if I have the days correct. But yeah, the blockchain didn't really have one available in a reasonable time frame and so someone you know the auction um settle is available the longer like the more likely someone else is to settle it so it's that way for a reason yeah but yeah i think <clears throat> yeah now 737 is tonight then 38, 39, 740 would be Saturday night. I don't know if I'll be around. <laughs> and it loses a little bit of like the, the excitement and the allure for me, but I may try it. Yeah, there it is. Pickle was really good. They're all going for 26 from really random wallets. It's getting interesting. Yeah. But yeah, they got a toad. Toad's nice though. Black shirt. Yep. Watermelon nogs. Pretty appropriate. Guava glasses. Hmm. Grayscale seven body, grayscale nine accessory. Ooh, black on black. Or grayscale on grayscale. Yeah. <laughs> I think grayscale nine is the color. Is it? No, it's not the color I keep using. Is it? it might be. Well, I think this is good. <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, I at least have like a, a jumping off point for after the stream. And I think hopefully at some point I can hit publish on like a settings page. That looks pretty good and functions. It won't be reading from the actual contract for now, but uh, you know, the updates aren't that frequent anyway. Mm -hmm. And then maybe we could do like a game updates page. I don't know. That's a little bit more traditional of like a, not a blog, but you know, it's more work, but. Yeah. Um, I'm going to post a screenshot here. Oh, and God. we certainly did, I think, what we set out to do. And uh, we got this page after the splash out. screen. <laughs> Barely. I don't know about that one. This I mean, is, I think you, we could get this up on, on Framer. This I would never want to. This is, this is like, this is not it, but it, it's it's the idea of it. This is, I don't know, this is rough to look at, to be honest, but I know where it can go, though, I think, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm proud of us because we got something shipped. 
sort of an ideation today. It might not be on Framer, but there it is. We're just over an hour here. Um, shout out again to all our watchers, all our viewers. Love you guys. Um, thanks for tuning in every week. Uh, big thanks to Mike, Mike Good, uh, helping us get through this. Uh, <laughs> this uh, we were joking earlier about the trough of sorrow period of our prop. Um, the trough of sorrow is real, but uh, we just keep slogging through it, uh, like we do every week, don't we, Index? Yep. Um, I'd say this week actually more than the others. I mean, I don't know if I all I really got was the music on the page, but that's that's enough for me. Like, um, I actually sat down last night and I worked on it for a couple hours, tried to familiarize myself with Framer, and so that that was actually pretty decent progress. Um, I'd say. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we will be back uh, next week. Um, hopefully the same time, maybe not the same time. Uh, we've been doing this right at the top of the blockchain day at uh, 12 UTC, which is 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, every Wednesday night, uh, we will for sure be back uh, next Wednesday night, as always. For let's play little nouns, Dow, uh, Mike. Any any closing words here before we uh, tune out? You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Can't wait to see what you have. That's it. No no words to the wise. Sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back next week. Let's play. Little nouns.